new Packard Bell computer. And with a 1.2 gig hard drive, 16 megs of memory, and Windows 95, this is a computer on the cutting edge. Hello everyone, today in true retro style, I'll be going over one of my latest salvage yard finds, which is this 1995-96 Packard Bell XL2420. Uh, Packard Bell had a habit, uh, back in the 90s, of branding their computers differently depending on where they were being sold. So for instance, if this were sold at an Office Max or one of the old computer stores that used to exist back in the day, this would have been called the Legend 410 CD. And we're going to open it up, go over the specs on it. I have not yet powered it up. It's literally out of the dumpster at my local salvage yard. I'm excited to see exactly the condition inside and if it will power up. So, onward. So I'll go ahead and open up our XL2420. Pretty clean inside, actually, all things considered. It's got um, the standard Packard Bell fax modem sound card uh, using a crystal chip. This would be our 75 megahertz Pentium. And we have integrated video looks like a cirrus logic chip looks like we have an expansion slot for l3 memory for cache memory we do have a riser card set up here uh, we've got two pci slots available and one isa two isa slots available there's another one tucked in here Looking at the memory configuration, we've got two, two sticks of RAM in there, right here, kind of hard to see, we've got two sticks of RAM in here, we do have a three and a quarter high density floppy drive, we do have a CD-ROM read-only, obviously, from 95. We have a light-on power supply. And it is... ...150 watts. It doesn't look proprietary, though. It looks pretty standard. And then we have a hard drive. And according to the specs on the computer case, our, our um, hard drive should be 1 gig. And then we should have 16 megs of RAM. And that's all we got, but it's very clean. I'm actually pretty impressed with the cleanliness of this system. Um, you know, a little bit of dust, but... Nothing too drastic. And then again on the back, the I.O. on the back of the system. You know, we've got the uh, fax modem, sound card set up with game port, video, parallel, serial. We've got PS2 keyboard and mouse, and then the power connector. So I think what I'll do is, I think I'm going to just jump right to it. I'm going to... Uh, plug this in and then I'll do some video capture on the actual boot screen. We'll see if this thing actually boots up. And booting. 16 megs of RAM, keyboard mouse, 75 megahertz processor, it's an Amy BIOS. We have the hard drive. Doesn't tell us how large it is, but we, we did check the specs, and it should be a gig. Floppy A. I am speeding this up a little bit. It's booting fairly clean. Hard drive's fairly quiet. 
And it looks like we've got Windows 95 installed, going right into Windows 95. And mouse driver, CD-ROM driver in DOS. Looks like some sound card utilities. So far I'm impressed. A clean computer, dumpster find, and everything seems to be working. I don't have too many one gig hard drives that actually work anymore. Just going to wait for this to finish booting. I don't have any sound. There might be an error with the actual sound card drivers. We'll have to check that out when we go into Device Manager. And there we are on the Windows 95 desktop. Looks like the prior owner has some files in there. I will go ahead and delete those. I'm not going to take a look and see what's left on this. Not even interested. And we'll check out, let's see, let's check out my computer and see what we've got in this. All right. Looks like we've got a Linux distribution, a Nopix Linux distribution on CD-ROM inside the D drive. I dare say probably an old version of Nopix. And see what's on the C drive. Pretty full. Just a lot of stuff. A lot of things that came with Packer Bell tools. Looks like we've got SimCity 2000. Now let's see if that runs. Again, I do apologize. I don't have any sound. Um, we'll check the we'll check the device manager and see what we've got going on. So far, very impressed. The hard drive isn't even that loud. SimCity 2000 Special Edition. So we don't have the CD-ROM drive, so no movies, and it's running fairly smooth. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if there's any cities loaded or saved, I should say. And. And we'll just grab one. Looks like an arcology city. And wow, pretty smooth, actually. It has been years since I've touched SimCity 2000. Yeah. Might be able to do some things with this computer. Uh, you know, we have the two PCI slots could definitely put in another video card something period specific maybe upgrade the cpu also i think we could do that i don't think we need any more ram in there all right let's check out all right so we've got the pre-installed version of win 95 it came with packer bell computer 60 mx ram and the device manager, and yeah, it looks like we've got something going on with the sound drivers. Looks like the Sound Blaster Pro emulation. Um, something's not quite right there. One of that was giving the old owner grief too. Serious Logic video, NEC CD ROM, and I don't think we have any. We shouldn't have any network devices or anything like that. Just a couple of driver issues. Pretty common under Windows 95 to have that. And let's go ahead and shut her down. So on our next video, when we get back to this computer, I think what I'll do is um, I'll install I'll install Quake or Doom on it, do some benchmarking, and then uh, put in an upgraded video card. And we'll see where we can take this computer and then uh, swap out some CPUs. Thanks for watching, everybody.